Do I want another sandwich? <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want another sandwich actually. Oh, and a coffee. I'll be right back. Alright, I got the kettle boiling. Um, <laughs> let's start this. Oh yeah, the kettle's boiling, so you might hear it in the background. Why is... Oh, no, it's just... Okay, there we go. <laughs> the final draft. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I was meaning to buy the, um, the, I think the deluxe version so I could get both the lighthouse and I think it was Night Springs DLC for free. So I might get that. <laughs> I do have like a little bit of PlayStation credit so I'm like a bit excited to use that. Uh, I kind of want to go in story because I want to like finish it as much as possible but I kind of enjoy it normal <laughs> like because the death screens are so like a lot actually we go we'll go on story just to get as much as possible because I already finished the game I just want to see if there's anything added to the game and not just anything If, um... Oh, it's this one. Back to the beginning. With oh the shit! Of the past loop already fading fast. But while it lingers, I know there's hope. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop. This it's a is spiral. A spiral. Oh, so it just continues from there. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. A oh, fictional poet weird, once yeah. said, Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. Saga. It's not just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. 
we can find our way through the darkness. We will break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. I forgot. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Has he got tidy whities on? There we go. <laughs> that Nightingale was just possessed. I thought he was like still trying to live but he didn't emerge from Cauldron Lake kind of like not drowned yet so. And it also compounds with the fact that we can't see his face. I don't know what happened to Ed and Tammy. I don't even know if they're still alive. I think it's just linear at this point though. Mark, I like split the Algario audio, so now it's like sick. <laughs>
this place. I miss Quarter Lake. <laughs> you can be in um, Magic Corridor. Fuck it. Mom. How are you? Well, 90% on the game. I thought. It was so seamless. I'm sorry, I I've thought been they gone were gone just so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What's happened? Just work stuff. Right. I'm gonna well, get Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. I might actually watch um, Twin Peaks because of this. It's very inspired by Twin Peaks, and I heard the show was good for one of my coworkers. Here we are, Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. What did this dead guy? Hey, over here. Hey there. Hey, Agent Casey, right? Oh. <laughs> Sheriff Casey. Casey said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. I'm in charge here. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Jeez. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Where's those damn bitch gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. I heard everywhere, bro. <laughs> uh, any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. <laughs> Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Let's take a look at the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, wait me. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> Uh, 
Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Ah. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Uh, cases. Cases. Oh! I got all of them! So I'm missing one song, and I think it's a uh, close song. Either that or my waves. <laughs> so I'm missing one song, and. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. <laughs> Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. <laughs> mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> I know you're pretty old, dude. I already read this on the initial playthrough, so I might not read it again. Unless it's something I've missed, then I'll read it. <laughs> it's only showing three things. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Not a bad place to get murdered. If getting back to nature is your thing. Oh yeah, Damn. I remember I got lost here. Could have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Can I make it mulligan? Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. Is Casey here? Did I just leave him behind? Oh. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting <laughs> down so psycho cool. serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Actually, how much trophies do I have? Hidden trophy. Ah, oh, so I'm missing one, two, like five. Make sure our dolls. Defeat an enemy with an explosion. So I gotta throw those propane tanks and then hit it. And then, um, once they're low on health, so I gotta do that. Uh,. I'm missing 11 of those. 
Uh, cold special mouthful. Oh, I'm missing out a lot of those. Um. Oh, I gotta shoot Mr. Drifty. Pet Mayor Setter. Oh yeah, that's right. I've only recently found out that Mayor Setter is a dog. <laughs> Rider's Journey videos. Oh, one more. So I gotta find all the, this is the, scene of the uh, Mayor Setter signs the and then go back to Quarter Lane. You know, oh, right holes. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Oof. Jeez. Not too good. <laughs> Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Uh, find evidence. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. He wasn't that big, so he must have bloated because he was drowning. But like, yeah, when he was coming out and not placed on the table, he wasn't that big. So post mortem bloating. <laughs> Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrist. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Hey. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Uh, have you had any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Pretty oh, to oh, nerves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Pretty's nerves. Have you got spider on the table? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, there we go. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. You so you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. Quantico yeah, ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never Quantico is like Quantico right here. Together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. 
Weird. FBI. Ah, oh, wait. Quantico is an FBI academy. Ah. So, what happened after you got fired? So, what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. Hmm. But no happy ending. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Hmm. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Case board. Uh, victim. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from. Yeah, okay, now we unlock profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Wait, did I put this on? If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. No. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Ah. And I like the people. People are paid to like sort of photoshop elements together so like you can see how her body isn't fully like normal proportions is because her hands and her he head are like photoshopped into another person's body and then sh that body was shrunk down to be like a kid's proportion so more often than not they didn't have an actor just a voice actress were mom may be gone but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. And her mom was Freya. That's pretty good. Hey, profiling. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Focus. 
keep forgetting what to do here. Profile the victim. Ah, wait, there's one more. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Yeah. You damn, you damn yuppies. <laughs> this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake, probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campground, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses to Booker. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm -hmm, like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Oh yeah, that's the other one. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. And he's got pages. Oh, he only got that. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special oh, Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. That way it suddenly turned up. Only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. Those jackets, like... And then there was the page. Yeah. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words. These words. Felt like a message was a message someone knew they were here what they were doing someone playing a game with them 
leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Apparently, Scratch writes the um, addendums to the page. Not just Alan. <laughs> Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. We can find other stuff later when we've. Um... Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to... Saga bent down to inspect the body on the table. Somehow it felt familiar. The straps, the heart, the mutilated corpse laying on the rain-soaked wood. Like deja vu. She chased the source of the feeling. Found nothing. None of the victims from her past cases resembled this one. It didn't feel like anything from her past. More like something from a dream. From a life she could barely remember. Maybe one that wasn't even hers. Then the feeling passed. Like a shadow in the trees shifting with the wind. Saga blinked. Shook the feeling from her head. She turned her focus back on the work. There was a lot to do. Casey and the deputy were watching her. She had a feeling this would be an exciting case. Exciting, huh? <laughs> Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> Actually, you did see this bit, and it was full of light. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Wait, this is new? Oh no, it's not new. I saw this earlier. Did you get lost in this one? They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Hello. I think I come back here, yeah. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here.
Welcome back, Anderson. Hey, where is Say it like that? Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Let's get the Deputy, body sound. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. And talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay, I think over here was the FBC fence. That's right. So I think over there on the FBC fence is, um, is gonna be. Uh, where nights either the the lake house DLC is gonna be. Seems then, like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods, cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. It reminds me a lot of like Tapu. I went there earlier this year and I went, oh my gosh, it was so amazing. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. <clears throat> Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Apparently, Casey this is a uh, rose. Coincidentally, having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. He really hates the movies. Oh, right. Because we ran out of manuscript <laughs> fragments. They just re reload. Ah! Let's see. It was... Oh, Jesus. Nice Casey Lynch. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Uh, if it's not, then it's probably someone else. It's like... Because if... Um, whoever's leaving the lunchbox is behind the same hero. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? Huh? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Also, well, yeah, in New Zealand, we got a lot of places that are called theirs. Um, but they're on the side of dormant volcanoes, so um, one of them is uh, Mount Eden. In I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Mount Eden is a dormant volcano, and um, once upon a time, you used to go to the crater of it. And the crater was like, um, oh, okay. the crater was, um, 
locked off um, when I was when I got older because people kept falling Here we are. into the crater. <laughs> so Let's now go back to town and meet the, the sheriff at the diner. I wonder if I should be able to I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Is that one of Brown's? Oh my god! The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Bright Falls, Washington. Hello, Bright Falls resident. Hello. I kind of like the artwork to be honest. Hey, yeah. how's it going? Guess how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> and it is. Well, isn't it? Charlene, are you as uncomfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot, caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I need bolt cutters. Know. Wombat City. Uh, change of topic, please. Oh, they both wearing trucks. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my, <laughs> I mean our float, will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Yeah. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float to share. Oh, This is my dear. first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect. You. It is the finest entertainment town like ours after all. Share some e-breaker. The FBI, welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. That's for Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. He's uh, gonna be the protagonist of Night Casey. Springs. Um, Jim Breaker. I've heard. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I was told there was witnesses? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just, They're just there inside having time. coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Oh, you get to see Rose, too. We looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it slowed down ever since Coffee Mike was passed on. Yeah, the reason why I said her, it's probably Rose writing the notes, is because it's her handwriting. Monsters don't have nightmares. Come on now. The long evening, kitchen heat, just me, the devil. I'm alone in my own awake. Yo. How can you be so calm? Corpse is a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. Angus remorse is in the coconut song. Take control. And the. Uh, and I think it's the and the something of my own shadow of our shadow. The black and stuff on there. Not 
Oh, it's a tea leaf. All right. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Not the. Not the um. The cliff art, bro. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. I'm pretty sure I missed something here. And it was somewhere over here-ish. I need something to force this open. I got everything in the dryer. We'll come back when we got the uh, the bolt cutters. Uh, oh, I think it was a crowbar actually. Are you the bookers? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Uh, can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy. The lady's way too happy, like, shit at us. brewing he up the been dust outside. <laughs> Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos, it Deer masks. They were peering into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What are you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who <laughs> left missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. Oh, that's what tries. Uh, what do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. A cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Help. They found something. I'm gonna find out what it is. Oh, hey. Pieces. Pieces. Murders. Alright, this way. Cover profile. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Beats the cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. <laughs> exciting. Is that that exciting? Cold of the tree. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Uh, kind of cults. These are all fear moths. <clears throat> no. This is the other one. Oh, physiology. Profiling as well. 
of the cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Annie. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Oi. I think he found something that belongs to me. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. I told you not to keep that seat for me. Thanks. Uh, this is where it's helpful. Also. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. It's like we even dream of missing you. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after uh -oh. that awful, awful thing happened uh -oh. to you. Uh-oh. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Anything strange around town? Rose? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. How exactly do we know each other? So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Some dude was peeling down the street. Holy shit. Uh, all set? My yeah. guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Fuck. Better is better. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Now, if not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. The passage of time a little goes with feeding. If you will. The days of our lives are fleeting. And, and the, the end, end in the end, end they end. end. Okay. Mm. Oh, so nothing yet. <laughs> oh, 
Why is he reading upside down? That's the same lady from. Oh, yeah. Not actually. <laughs> Where'd they go? Welcome back, Anderson. Who else? Have you heard of this Did cult of the tree, the Sheriff? Not. Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult citizens Morning, in the dangers of unsanitary like conditions. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. Beer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space gauge. She always has been. Why? What's she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying sweet. Let's not take it for I wonder if you can actually call these numbers. Hey boss, corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh... Let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket whenever you're ready to take my money. <laughs> Third annual community outreach barbecue. No hey, gang. Sir, some patience, please. <laughs> The other woman you've been eagerly awaiting for us again. The community outreach barbecue. Now I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, are more effective in their policing, and have overall better mental health or mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drum roll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Looks like, it looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? A friendly reminder to anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. So, Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal calls or other unofficial businesses. And remember, wash your coffee mugs, admin. <laughs> not your personal assistant. Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal offence to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You've been warned. P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your bed oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> Officer Chet Yazzie, yeah, I knew Marco's bed was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Hannah Oshinoya, Chet, I had to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a bed to make effective use of bed oil. Kill the Joe, make some more. This is the third time this week I come in for late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Oh, you... oh wait, I need the map, eh? How does it go in here? Hello? They locked up an innocent man! Locked, well, okay. The back door. I swear I didn't do anything. Mm, take They're some a lying time bunch of bastards. You're lazy, right? It won't open. Did I just 
った。ケイズルボイルドル。I need a map. That's what I was looking for. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> We've only had a tour guide, also. It's bear season. <laughs> oh no, a bear. Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Look at him. Oh wow. Hello. Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Coscola Brothers Best. Coffee Roaster slash Tour Guide by Coffee World Magazine, <laughs> and I'm here to give you a tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized <laughs> and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government, and that's why at Kotkala Brothers Adventure Tours we say, "Fuck the government." Fuck the government. We have bolt cutters. We have bolt cutters. You think of everything, and we'll take you anywhere. Oh, punch a bear! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park, fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam, bird watching at majestic Mirror Peak. <laughs> a tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now. <laughs> To get a nine percent discount on this limited edition old oh beer diner coffee thermos. <laughs> I'm gonna collect all those again, I guess. Still can't find a map. I don't know where I found the map the last time because I need it for the police station. Yeah, I don't know about you folks, but I don't care for all these gruesome murders and whatnot right here in our wholesome little town. So we share more with the funeral home next door, so shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Why is it dark down here? Something about morgues. They always fear me. Now. I can't say I feel the same. Hey. Um. Can't force it open. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? 
What other clues can the body give me? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Hey. Is this four? Kind of quotes. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Defensive wounds. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay, let's see if Amos is still coming clutch. <laughs> Saga. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. No, 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 wait. Oh, they flash missed the door. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now.
Okay. Nice. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Whoa. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. What happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Well, attacked by a dead man. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Is this the work of the cult? The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Ramp, please. Hello. There's one saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was but wasn't a taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place. A tarp thrown over top. Drowning everything beneath it. A flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. I remember I was stuck here. Okay, a dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Pages. This is a tree. Mm hmm. The season vault. What? Cult symbols for physiology. For ritual? Okay. Let's go back to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Yeah, I got stuck in the first playthrough because I didn't know you had to put all of the stuff 
answer the case for, then talk to Casey. <laughs> be opened on this side. We, we heard gunshots, Joel, okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Oh, me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can, man. It's suspect you now. It's like that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the <laughs> sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like magic. Like poof? He's gone. <laughs> Monsters aren't real, and magic definitely not real. I just knew that. Okay. They, none of y'all heard that downstairs for I see a good monk. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. I want out. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. <laughs> Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. You think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Oh, that's right. That concludes our... That main was um, from the first one as well. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. What Nurse Seto won't roll over on the issues. Tools and hard. Check out the town, Anderson. Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. So what's good here? Any nice restaurants? I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh, the restaurants and shops in town are closed at the moment, See unfortunately. You around. Uh, they'll have a grand reopening right after here at that building. So if you're sticking around till then. Oh. I don't think I am. Give me rain. Whatever oh, it is. Fritz and Stephist. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, they're always our own restaurant at your convenience. If you're a fan of coffee and retro bodies, we uh, are.
Oh yeah, this is uh, Alex's room. I think I can find stuff here. Can't force it open. And it and Sammy's room. Mm, nothing else here. Okay. It's cool. Oh, right. The other side. It won't open. Rest easy, buddy. Really, Saga is another name for. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Saga is just another name for Freya, but Saga also means seer. It's not opening. I don't think there was a lunchbox box there too. We can explore the town in a bit. Okay, we'll explore the town later. Go on for another hour or so and then I'll go. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Clock out, let it be. And tomorrow, it's just not stop Halloween. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 My, years ago. Um, what else I think he was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tell me, mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Haha. Uh -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet... After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. I think now we can get all the cult crates because we know of the cult's existence. But they disappeared before. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. I Need to figure out buy. exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Oh, 
So there's a. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. If you see anything that's like distorting on sh screen, it's probably an item from the dark place. <clears throat> oh. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. What this photo mode? No. That's pretty. I'm gonna use it to adjust the lighting on the. Uh, I think it's the uh, better. Video. Oh, yeah. So it's a bit more uh, like that. Contrast. Saturation as well. Over saturation. Here is more of that. Hey! This should look more closer to the screen. It's a little purpley here, but that's fine. I don't know why it's like it has this like green tinge over it though, and it's a little too bright actually. Uh, it's a little too contrasty. Need that a little. Here is more red. Such slowly saturation, a little more reddish here. Can just barely hey Casey, make out the details. What's the forest favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, it has like this weird green tinge on everything, but um, on the Elgato, but that's because Elgato's stupid. But now I can actually see what's fucking happening, and so can you. Hello? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Hello. Are you authorized to be here? Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. Funny how he says, and he, yes, Stephen nice here to meet you, to but then the later on he says, He's in town ah, important welcome back, government Saga. Business, Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? You know about the murder? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. 
I bet a family member made it. My mother made this. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan piirakka. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. The FBC? Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. The raccoons. So Stephen Lynn, I think he was um he was referenced as one of the people who played D D with um the other control members. Uh And this definitely looks like a monitoring station. But um it's not that the wires were fraying, it's that um Tika were tampering with the wires so that um they couldn't relay information back to the FBC. Not in time anyways. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Mm. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Oh, or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. There's a thingy here, so... Oh wait, this is just <laughs> the back of the soul. Oh, Our crime like scene's this. drowning. I never mind its rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake. In an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We find Nightingale and then what? After we find Nightingale, what then? We fight him. I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> like actual monsters. Light work to Not like people monsters. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Uh, about all the rituals. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detectives. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. Let me check this out. It does seem a bit like uh similar to the screen. Hey. Well I can't make it any more like higher definition than that. Apparently, um I gotta manually fix that, but I don't know how. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, Casey? Just in case. On it. Just in case. Maybe owe you. Ah, <laughs> uh, cases. Also the tree. 
Lady. Uh, occult symbols. I'll check the store again. Oh, no, we're in a different area, that's right. A creepy twig sculpture? It changes every five hour actually. The um symbols. I mean I don't think the symbols change, I think the thing changes the I feel bad for these other. guys. If not then that's All the ones that I do find are despawned. So some of them have got uh, weapons in them. I'm like, where are the weapons? Ah, oh, there. A locked box. Is that the so, cult of the tree symbol on it? Sink. I wonder what's inside. Um, bed. Sink, fridge, I should bed. take a look around for a way to open this thing. So sink, up, down, inwards, up, down, our glass, and up, down, our glass, and left, right, up, down, our glass, left, right. There you go. Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. I don't see this. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15am after I'd finished my armor on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much room. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to make it, have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. 
Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. He's right to come to rifles. This is someone who's... <laughs> UFOs and you. The ultimate guide to uh, spotting unidentified flying objects. So someone... I think they saw Polaris. Or Hedron, I'm not too sure. I like the knitting hero. I need to just leave. That is Rose. Stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Gotta look at everything. Detect the eye. Um, detective might be lost. Detective Ruby. I mean, there is the witch's heart as well. I'll go back to the murder side actually. Oh, wait. I need to go to the witch's heart. It's coming back to me, muscle memory. Someone that texts me here as well. I think the worst part is the dogs. The dogs are like the worst part of this. Um. Other than that, I think it's pretty alright. Yeah, it's a top of it, I think. Flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Looks like a scenic area. the um cauldron lake uh watch imagery was because i don't remember what it fully was i can't really go back down to the top of it actually i think i make my way back down pretty sure i'm missing something i just don't know what it is I wonder if I get stopped here. 
Yeah, I do get stopped here. This can't be the right way. Nightingale, and then I'll stop for the night. As much as I do want to finish this as much as possible, I've got to also grab everything as well. <laughs> and I'll be using a guide to collect things in case I miss them. Ooh, a witch's hut. Nice. Oh wait, there's a nice. Ah, yeah. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? I guess I just gotta go back to the murder site and then see if they're crossing. There's another lunchbox. <laughs> Remember, it's a bad it's just a bad day, not a bad life. If you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. <laughs> I 
I only just realized these are um, little decorations tie you with lodge boxes. <laughs> Can I go to the FPC section actually? actually saved it either. <laughs> ah yeah it is the lake house. Nice talking to you too. PC station. So we gotta go back to the murder site. Oh no, we gotta go to the Oh what happened there? I'm going here because I'm getting lost. I think I have actually. <laughs> Going in circles. Oh, yeah, I have. Um, okay, pick up. This way. All the way straight. To the water. Where'd you go from here? Wait. I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Get out of the water first. Somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Calgary. 
a street station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. What is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Let's go off here. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. I think it's over here. Oh, it is. This fuse is busted. Oh. Oh, this one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. <laughs> I will just save on one. Dark phone. Wait, is that new? This mug always cheers me up. The writer of the first yeah, word, not new. the writer of the last. With the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet, him, meet him when, when you, you are, are gone. gone. Yeah, so I read the first word, not the writer of the last. So I read the first word was probably Thomas Nade, not the writer of the last. Terror of the light and the shadow cast. Throw down the open. Ah, to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is virtual to lead you on. Um. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh. 
Interesting. Light is the key to stay yeah, safe, this one. but for something more to be is witches ladle the doorway into the overlap. If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Oh, I got my weapons! Ah, my charms. Okay, definitely gonna put that there. Uh, from any shoebox in Washington State. Maximum health. Uh, attack stagger. Use more often. There's a flare. Which I definitely use. This one's for a rifle. I don't have any shotgun shells, so we don't have to use that. And this one goes here. Yeah, thick layer, good. Uh, quick slot, so three weapons go here. Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. A smudged line on the heart. A second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Hey. Use ritual. Moves on the heart. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Sorry, it's chick like the better you real quick. Heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? It was there, but it was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of some spots. I was there. That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart. Where is Nightingale's it? heart. Where is it? Wow. They played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. to check the general store for the heart. Uh, Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. The years I spent with my bitch wife. <laughs> hey, 
Uh, we're just straight ahead. is very easy. <laughs> on the heart is clear now. Quick push on the far side of Legible. the room. Legible. Where's not how legible now? Sounds literary. But what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Ah. So it's already got those that don't appear. Q, Q, uh, B. Like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Hey, uh, gotta go all the way there. So, turn sharp right straight ahead and then sharp right again. Oh, do I need to go to Witch's Hut? Okay, the story is very easy. I'm a bit glad about that, so I don't have to worry about dying as often. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Because I think I died to them once.
think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Try to rifle this time. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Ah, oh, wait, that was the way through. Oh, no, wait. Uh, that's a good back in, don't I? Because it's a, it's a loop. Yeah. was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. He's here, Nightingale. Right. Time to fight. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. It's the train station in the dark place in New, in New York. On the side of the darkness place. Take him out with just the pistol. Ugh, 
Hello, Wick. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? No escape. If you can all go, in danger. The darkness rises. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Push it back into the lake. <laughs> Fuck is that out of week? Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face scratch! Ah, and Sir, it calm started down. from there. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. It, it changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before Easy now. First things first. He's in the past and she What's your name? Well, yeah. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. You crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Mr. Wake? Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yes, the P.I. from your book has the same name as me. Great. <laughs> Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I, 
thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. Should look around. Okay. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Looks like that's Casey closed. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Oh, they just need. I don't know if there's a lunchbox here. I like, can't. Um, I think this part is flooded. You could probably see what's on the other side of the overlap now. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Ah, oh, it's just there, but like I already got it. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. side of the screen. Tree. Physiology? And this like little symbol shows up when there's a stash. Alright, oh, that's pretty ingenious. Um, Probably go, yeah, I'll probably go all the way back to the overlap to see what's up.
Oh, we can't. Um, we need to go the long way around. Oh, wait, we can. Yeah. Shotgun ammo. I'm gonna probably put this on there. Maybe use like the. This one. Um. <laughs> put that in there. It'll be more useful later on. Oh, we got a propane thing. I'm gonna move it. Oh, we could probably. Yeah, we could probably quick slaughter and do the shotgun trick. Um. I think I'm gonna hit up for tonight. I think because I woke up sort of late, um, had something to do still for work, um, and I had a really long nap because I went to bed late like, because of that work thing. That's what. Uh, pardon me. But tomorrow we're gonna go uh back into Cauldron Lake and see. Back into Bright Falls and see if we can't um, see if we can't play some more as much as we can. Like I'm glad that it's like a bit more easier now, <laughs> so I don't have to die as much and see Alan Wake's dead fucking face. Um, but anyways, tomorrow, Alan Wake. Um, in about next week, I think it's Fan Fest. Uh, but. I'll be streaming that, um, only because it is a work day when they're streaming the freaking live later, and I'm like, no. Uh, the week after, so next week is more Alan Wake. The week after, um, is Super Skater back to get a parade, so I need to change one of the PNGs. Need to fix up some of the PNGs. I uh, need to. Get a better UI. <laughs> uh, but other than that, yeah, it should be so much so mod. I'll see y'all tomorrow.